All right, so we are going on a journey. We're going to look at modern physics. Just going to, we're going to touch on it. The first thing, this really starts with Einstein's, uh, it really, well, it, it's hard to say when it starts, but uh, we've been studying classical physics all the way along. Now, modern physics starts pretty much with Einstein and relativity. Uh, it's not part of our curriculum, but the whole thing with relativity where length is not constant, it depends on your relative motion, and time isn't constant. After relativity, uh, Max, what we, we call a Max Planck, in German it would be Max Planck, but Max Planck, he realized that with the electromagnetic spectrum, with the electromagnetic spectrum, you've got these, you'd think, you've got these electromagnetic waves that are continuous waves. And you could have a frequency um, for an electromagnetic wave at any specific point, at any given point. That makes sense based on wave theory. But uh, as he did some further research using things that are called um, black bodies, which were pure um, uh, absorbers of, of energy, complete 100% absorbers of energy, uh, that's why it's called a black body. It, it absorbs but doesn't re radiate any energy. And also looking at, at perfect emitters, which these are ideal. They're not real. Uh, but with, in, studying, in studying that thing, he realized that, that it wasn't a continuous frequency spectrum where you just can have any frequency you want. Instead, electromagnetism, it goes in little jumps from one frequency up to another. And the analogy is like if you're climbing a, a ladder, you can only put your foot on, foot on specific rungs of the ladder. You just can't put your foot anywhere to climb up. It has to be on those specific rungs. And those specific rungs are located in specific places. And so there are only certain places you can step on to, to lift yourself up. Frequencies, they only exist in certain areas. And then they can't just arbitrarily exist in some middle place. In other words, uh, electromagnetic waves are quantized, and, the, and that number, the quantized, comes from the word, you know, quantity. So it has specific quantities that it can have and specific quantities that it cannot have. That's where quantum mechanics comes from, the word quantum meaning just specific quantities. All right. What Max Planck uh, figured out, and I, my understanding is he didn't really quite believe his own theory, but he figured out that that the energy of a specific quantity of an electromagnetic wave was equal to, now it, it has an N in here, which I'm going to get rid of in a second, but N um, has to do with the um, energy level. It could, be, you know, it could be energy level one, two, three. You might remember that from chemistry. Um, we're going to just, uh, it's, well, it's NHF, all right? N is the energy level. H is... Planck or Planck's constant, F is the frequency of the electromagnetic wave. Now, I'm just going to ignore the N, and we're just going to look at um, the energy of one, of one photon here. Okay, so Planck's constant, which is given on the equation sheet, um, Planck's constant, let me look this up. Hold on, let me pause this just for a second. Excuse me.